I'm Sarah, a New York local, and today I'm going to show you what you should do in New York City. Now, this isn't gonna be your typical guide where I'm telling you to go to the Empire State Building or Times Square, which I am right now, I hate this place, but I have to do it. I'm gonna show you the stuff that I think is the best from years of writing about what to do in New York City. It's gonna be my favorite things, the most unique things, the most interesting things, the things that you can only find in New York. So let's begin as I show you what to do when you come here to New York City. some of New York City's best nightlife, head over to the McKendrick Hotel. This place has the most amazing parties that I've ever seen and I've been to a lot of different parties in New York and this is consistently the most incredible. The reason is because they do immersive theatrical experiences. It's not just a bunch of dancing and drinking, it's a live performance on stage. Uh, professional dancers, confetti falling from the ceiling. One of the parties I went to, they literally had real grass on the floor. This is New York's nightlife at its finest, hands down. They also are home to Sleep No More, which is one of the award-winning shows that they put on here. Check out their events calendar. Um, it's really the events that are epic. That's all I have to say. Another great way to see the city by boat is through the North River Lobster Company. This is one of my favorite ways to see the city. It's only $10 to get on this boat and they serve great drinks, uh, cocktails and beer and wine, and also really incredible seafood. This boat circles Manhattan every 45 minutes, so it docks for 45 minutes and it circles for 45 minutes and if you miss the boat, it's not a big deal because they have a bar right on the pier. So it's very convenient and a lot of locals don't even know this place exists. So definitely a place to check out. Definitely one of those hidden gems in New York City. One of the most breathtaking ways to see New York is from above by a helicopter or a plane. It's truly a one-of-a-kind experience and although it is expensive, I do recommend it because it's so beautiful. You can do helicopter rides for even as short as 15 minutes or longer and also plane rides. I did one where I actually learned how to fly a plane and we circled around the Statue of Liberty. Beautiful experience, definitely recommend doing that. I'm a big believer in taking tours of the city to learn more about it and I've taken many tours in New York to get a visitor's perspective and my favorite has always been Urban Adventures and the reason is because they do small group or private tours. Therefore you get more one-on-one -on -one with the tour guide and it's a better experience for you. I've taken their tours all over the world and love them. Some of my favorite tours that they do here in New York are the New York City Craft Cocktail Tour, the Brood in Brooklyn Tour, and the Sights and Bites Tours. But they have so many other tours here in New York, so check out their site, you can see everything there. They also do tours all over the world, so no matter where you are, you can check out an Urban Adventures tour. One of my favorite ways to see the city is by boat, and if you're looking for a luxurious experience, you can go on a classic Harbor Line cruise. They do several themed boats throughout the year. Some like holiday, they do a wine and cheese pairing, which I love. They do brunch cruises, which are really fun. There's tons of different options for you to do here at classic Harbor Line cruises. Uh, so if you're looking for New York from a very luxurious uh, standpoint on the water, just do a classic Harbor Line cruise. It's the best option, guys. Brunching here in New York is practically a religion. It's something that the locals do almost every weekend. It's often, weekends are planned around brunches. Now, if you don't know what brunch is, it's the meal between breakfast and lunch. And often in New York, you get these boozy brunches, which are so much fun. Often it includes unlimited alcohol, which you need to be careful with at certain locations. And just like mounds of 
breakfast food that's like covered in sugar. Uh, a great website to find a brunch is called Bitches Who Brunch and they have honest reviews of all the brunches in New York. One of the best brunches is at La Sirena and they have a very classy atmosphere, outdoor patio, and that's actually the top rated brunch. Uh, so that's one that you might wanna see. It is on the more expensive side. So if you're looking for a cheaper brunch, go to Bitches Who Brunch and they have a uh, nice sorting feature that allows you to choose what you're looking for. But when you come to New York, definitely try brunching because that is such a local thing to do here, especially boozy brunches. Now I can't show you everything there is to do in New York City. Sadly, I do have other videos on more specific things, but you're going to need a guidebook when you come here. My favorite is Marco Polo. I use them all over the world and they are fantastic. It's great, especially in New York because they just made this one. It has tons of insider tips. Also, they have a pullout map. And my favorite part is their interactive app that has walking tours of the city that you can just go on yourself. There are tons of them. So no matter where you are in the city, you can find a specific walking tour for that area and they'll tell you all the facts, all the history. When you're here, you should see a Broadway show. There are few experiences as New York as seeing a Broadway show. I used to work on Broadway and I've seen a lot of them, but my favorites are The Lion King, Book of Mormon, Hamilton, Beautiful, and also The Cursed Child just opened. So that's one that you should probably experience. I haven't seen it though, but I've heard it's really good. Since I did used to work on Broadway, I have some tips on how you can get tickets for cheap, the best recommendation I have is to just buy tickets midweek so Tuesday evening uh, Wednesday evening a matinee those are gonna be cheaper than buying a Friday evening or a Saturday evening show also if you're here in January that is when the tickets are the cheapest and the reason is because we have the least amount of tourists in January so the tickets for probably go down significantly there's a lot of people that sell um, discounted tickets but often you won't get that for the really good shows like The Lion King and Hamilton and things like that at see the city jet ski you can take a jet ski tour around the peninsula of Manhattan and around the Statue of Liberty it's a pretty amazing way to see the city we're about to do it right now it's April so it's cold here but normally you wouldn't have this much clothes on I'm gonna put on this suit get it all up and we're gonna jump in I'll see you in the water When you're looking for an escape from the concrete jungle and just want some nature in your life, head over to Central Park or the Hudson River Greenway. This is one of my favorite places to bike or skate or run. The Hudson River Greenway has tons of stops along it as well. They have restaurants, bars, bike rental places, gardens. You can really find it all here. It's a lovely way to spend a beautiful sunny day, whether it's winter or summer. As long as it's like above 50 degrees, there tends to be a lot of activity here at the Hudson River Greenway. Before coming to New York, you should watch my other videos on New York City. I've had videos on insider tips, secret spots, and tourist traps, and there'll be more coming. That will really help you in deciding on what you want to do in this wonderful city. Central Park has so many things to do in it and one of the most memorable ways to experience Central Park is by horseback riding through it. This is an experience that many locals don't even know exists. You can do it through Central Park sightseeing and you truly sit on a horse and ride along paths, lakes, rivers. It's, well, it's a lake in Central Park, so you know. But it's just, it's really beautiful. If you don't want to do horseback riding, also bike riding is a beautiful thing to do there. You can spend the whole day there, just have a picnic and explore. And that's a wrap! Those are my favorite things to do here in New York City. If you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Sarah Funky, and I will see you next time.